Is it funny how I have a hat on but then like I have a tank on? Oh well. Anyways, welcome back to my channel guys. So today's video is going to be my January favorites. I didn't do a best of beauty video of 2015. So I decided to do my January favorites. It's not going to be as crazy as my last month favorites. If you guys haven't seen my December favorites, don't forget to check that down in the description box below. I'll list the link and everything down below. So don't forget to check that out after this video. But this month I got to actually put on makeup and try some new things out. And I absolutely love a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys. So on that, let's just get started. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you guys haven't yet. On that, let's just get started. So my first favorite of this month has to be the Nivea Men Sensitive Cool Post Shaving Balm. Nikki Tutorial talked about this a lot and I feel like it got very famous because of her. And I've been using this as a moisturizer and as a primer every single day. And I absolutely love it. It works really well as a primer but it's also very good for dry skin. If you guys don't know, my skin is normal to dry. So this works really well when I don't want to put on a super thick lotion. I just feel like the cooling feeling of this post shaving balm makes my face feel so amazing especially for the winter time when my face is like super ashy so if you guys have not tried this product out definitely give it a shot it's probably only four to five dollars it's super cheap and you, and you get at least three fluid ounces which is a lot especially if you're going to use it as a primer i've been using this every single day and i absolutely love it so definitely check this out next product has to be the l'oreal true match lumi cushy fun cushion cushion foundation and the applicator looks like this i actually i don't know like it's so messy because i've been using it every single day it's just like one of those korean bb uh, cushion foundation but this is a l'oreal kind and basically you just peel this little thing off i keep it in there because it keeps the foundation hydrated so it doesn't dry out and this is just basically how it looks like it's just a cushion foundation and basically you can use a beauty blender to put it on or you can use their little um padding thing that they give you in the package and you can use that to put it on your face but other than that i really like this product because it's good for an everyday look lately i've been having a lot of redness around my face and then sometimes i have a lot of dark circles and this kind of cover up pretty well this gives you a light to medium coverage so if you're more of a full coverage person i wouldn't recommend this but I definitely recommend this for those of you who want something light on the go easy to put on and yeah basically this is a very good foundation I'm using it every single day especially in the morning and when I go to the gym if I don't want my retina showing through when I'm working out and stuff so this is a good foundation I believe it retails for $15 it's pretty pricey depending on where you get it from but I absolutely think it's an amazing foundation as an everyday because it's so easy to put on so definitely check this out Next favorite has to be the NYX Dewy Finish uh, Setting Spray and I've had this for a while. I bought this in the summer but I never got the chance to try it out and I finally did this month and I like it because it makes my skin very dewy and luminous. It doesn't give me like a nice oily finish which is what I like and I actually sprayed it on my face right now. I don't know if you guys can see like the glowiness. I know I have like a bunch of highlighting on but... What it also does is that it gets rid of those little flakiness that you have so your face don't look super cakey. Um, my face, I have like a lot of powder on right now because I do a lot of baking and that tends to leave my skin a little bit dry. So this has been a lifesaver especially for my cakiness. It just makes my face look flawless. So I really recommend you guys trying this out if you guys have dry skin because it will be amazing. I'm definitely going to use this more in the summer because I love that nice luminous um glowy look in the summer next product is going to be my liquid nyc eyeliner and it looks like this i've used this so much to the point where you can't even see the label on this anymore this is my first one i'm almost done with this so i have to go to the store and grab a new one but every time i go to the store it's always out of stock because that's how good it is this is a very very black eyeliner at the drugstore that it's totally worth the price and literally when i tell you guys that it's really black it is really black like you can't can't you just see that and it's what i did my wing eyeliner with today so if you guys can see my wing liner and yeah this is the first product that i ever used to try to do my wing eyeliner the first time when i started doing makeup and i feel like the applicator is very easy to use i like it to do my wing eyeliner i don't need to um, use a brush or anything, but that's how I learned doing my wing eyeliner So if you're new to doing wing eyeliner and you're having trouble like everybody else um, You guys should definitely check out this because it's a very skinny applicator, but it helps 
with eyeliner so you just have to be careful when you're doing it but other than that if you keep practicing with this you'll become a pro when it comes to like any other eyeliner brushes that you encounter next product that I want to show you guys is the elf fan brush and I have been looking for this product for the longest time ever every time I go to a target I can never find it and I tried looking online it was out of stock and I just wanted to use it so bad because I saw Patrick started using this and I feel like elf has faster shipping than morphe so I didn't want to get the morphe 3 one zero fan brush so i decided to get this one i actually found this fan brush at a bookstore in my university and that is actually crazy because uh, my university they have a lot of uh, products and i didn't realize that they had this until my roommate told me and i got it right away because it was only two dollars and literally it makes my highlight on fleek like i don't know if you guys can tell but it just apply highlight really well I thought that the equal tool fan brush was amazing which I'll show you guys right now it looks like this equal fan brush and I don't like this anymore this was my favorite last month but ever since I encountered this thin looking one from elf it just apply highlight so good like I used to think this was so good until I encountered this so when I buy the Morphe 310 fan brush, I'm going to try to see if I like this one better or the other one because I'm just trying out a bunch of fan brushes because I've been seeing them being so overrated on Instagram and I just want to have, you know, that highlight on fleek. So I decided to grab this and now I've been using this so much and I barely gravitate towards this one. So yeah, as you guys know, if you guys watched my video for my December favorites, I did have this in there, but... I don't really like it anymore. If you guys want a cheaper alternative, get this one $2 versus $6. Next product I'm going to show you guys is the Anastasia Self-Made Palette. And this has been my favorite of the month. Oh, okay, the brushes fell, whatever. But I recently just got this. And I really like all the Anastasia palettes that they came out with that are limited editions. It kills me every time they come out with one because I feel like I have to get it. Because if I don't get it, then they're going to be gone by the time I know it. So... I really like this palette so far. Um, some of the shades I have it already because I own the World Traveler palette as well as the Tamana and the Artist palette. So this palette was a little bit different. It has similar colors but I just feel like it's warm enough and it has a lot of variety of colors that I can use instead of just having you know the regular brown, black, and nude colors. So I really like this palette so far and it's super pigmented. I absolutely love pink champagne as you guys know from the World Traveler palette. So I've been loving this eyeshadow palette. I actually used it on my eyes today and I'm actually not going to have a tutorial on this look because I feel like it's so simple. I will have like a short fast tutorial on my Instagram but I won't upload it like a full tutorial on this unless you guys really want me to do more tutorials on this palette then let me know. I would definitely do that for you guys. Next favorite for this month has to be the Milani a Liquid Amore Matte Lip Cream. And these are the limited edition ones. I believe Milani, Milani came out with the permanent line now. But I heard that they changed the formula a little bit. But I just love the formula of this so much. This is my favorite color of the month. It is Crush and it's what I have on my lips right now. I haven't worn it every single day because it's just a little bit dramatic for an everyday look. But I love it for like dramatic look like for this eye look. I really like the look of this dark, dark lip. I feel like I haven't gotten the chance to wear a lot of dark lipstick this you know, this fall and winter. I've been really wanting to try some new dark lipstick with, you know, an eyeshadow look. So that's what I'm going for. But I absolutely love this color crush. This is my all-time favorite. I don't know if they have this on the website, like the original formula. But they do have new ones. And I heard that they came out with new shades. And they're a little bit more expensive on the Milani website. But I think it's absolutely worth it. This color, I believe, is similar to ColourPop LAX. Um, color but the formula is so much better like it's so much more creamier moussier and it's just moisturize your lips a little bit better the color pop one was a little bit patchy so i really like this color i'm just gonna swatch it for you guys in case you guys want to see it on the hand but it is what i have on my lips right now you know you gotta overline them lips and another thing that i like about this product is that the doe foot applicator is so amazing i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like a very flat looking doe foot applicator and it's not like pointy like the other ones and I feel like I can use this liquid lipstick on my lips right away without using a lip liner and I will be fine without it. So I actually did my lipstick today without a lip liner and that's how amazing 
it is because I didn't have to like carve it out with concealer or anything because you know dark lipstick can be a pain in the ass especially when you put it on your lips without a lip liner so I absolutely love these um, Milani if you're watching this bring these back because these are amazing if you guys want to see like a full lipstick swatches of these I'll list it down below also I did do a review on them in the summer and I don't know if they're in the Milani website like I mentioned but I like I said I will double check for you guys and leave the link down below next favorite has to be Laura Geller highlighter and oh my gosh this is the best highlighter ever it's so gold and so pigmented you see that I know I showed you guys this on the December favorites I believe and um again it's gonna be my January favorites because I've been using it so much this month and I just love it so definitely check this out if you guys don't want to like purchase this purchase it anyways because it's worth the money last favorites of the month has to be my sony a5100 camera if you guys follow me on instagram you guys will know that i do take a lot of makeup pictures and i have been using this baby like crazy for my instagram picture if you guys know what it is the quality has gone up and i want to thank my boyfriend yeah for buying this for me for christmas and I just love this. It's like my baby. It's so amazing. I will insert some pictures around here of me taking pictures in this camera. It's just so beautiful. It has like a skin softener that's automatic or you can turn it off also. And it just makes your skin look so nice. The flash makes your highlight look on fleek and everything. So I really like this camera. Definitely get it. I really like it as like a portrait. But I don't recommend it if you want to like record on this camera because I know it shuts off every 10 to 20 minutes. So definitely don't get this for recording. But if you want to upgrade to like a good you know, want to really grow your Instagram and really want high quality pictures, this is your boo for for life. Like, I love this so much. I stopped using my iPhone camera because this is so amazing. All right, guys, so that is it for my December favorites. I didn't have that much to share with you guys, but I feel like I shared enough for you guys can actually purchase these if you guys want to. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, at SuperlySam, and add me on Snapchat, at SuperSam. And also, I will have another Fitness Friday video coming up very soon. I've been having a hard time filming at the gym. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.